Hi, my name is Brooke, and I've um, been at Shorecrest since second grade. I'm in 12th grade. At the end of my 10th grade year, the college counselors were talking to our grade about SMART goals, which is um, specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound goals, and it's just a better way of goal setting. And we were talking about our goals for at the end of high school, and I, I couldn't really think of something that I had really done for the community. And I thought, well, what am I interested in? And one of the college counselors said, if you could right now help someone with something, what would it be? And I thought about when I was in middle school and how I was interested in science, but there weren't really any clubs, um, especially specifically for girls, that helped with an interest in science, math, or technology. And I thought, well, what if I could do that and create that experience for middle schoolers that I never had? So I talked to my friend, and she was like, oh, that's a great idea. And we talked to a couple teachers, and we immediately got a great response. And this usually happens when you start clubs at Shorecrest. Um, very rarely or never will there be a time when you want to create something or, cre or start a club and you won't find any support. Most of the time you have at least one person, usually many people, interested in the same thing as you and wanting to help you with complete your goals. We looked for one or two teacher sponsors and ended up with seven. So <laughs> there were so many people that wanted to help um, create this club and it got off the ground really fast. We started immediately at the beginning of my um, junior year. We worked with a local um, nonprofit, Academy Prep. Once a month we bring 10 girls from Shorecrest and 10 girls from Academy Prep together and we have a science or technology themed activity. And they love it and we love it because it's, it's so fun seeing them excited about technology and science and it's fun to see the kids um, really get engaged in what they're doing. It's great to see that we're helping girls who may not, who may have dropped that interest because there was no, no, nobody there to talk to them about it or help them get excited about it. Some of our events have been design challenges such as creating a capsule to safely drop an egg in. Um, we did a biology one and we grew beans and put flowers in colored water and saw how they, t they changed and, and they were dyed. One of the projects that we've done that the students really loved was um, game design, like a video game, and they started with a piece of paper separated into um, one centimeter squares. And there was a code for each square, and you could draw and you could create a coin or a spike or a block. And they took a picture of it with their iPads and became a real playable game. And they really, they really loved seeing how their designs on paper uh, were transferred into the iPad and, and became really interactive. If I could do anything with the girls' steam club, I think I would set up a yearly trip to Cape Canaveral to have lunch with a female astronaut.